What's the word, y'all? Last night, Draymond Green got ejected for the third time this season. Third time this year. I'm going to remind you, we're about 20 games to the NBA season. The last time he was ejected, he, he got suspended five different games. This one, I would not be surprised if he gets a longer suspension because it happens way too often for him. And right now, Draymond Green is actively hurting his team. If for whatever reason you missed the play last night, here it is. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic is guarding him, and Draymond Green just clocked him. The thing that is so telling to me is not that uh, Nurkic fell like a sack of potatoes, but look at the bench. Look at his bench. This is ho his home bench. Um, Trace Jackson Davis and Corey Joe both have real reactions to this, and the reactions are not normal because they are still figuring out what the heck? Look at Trace Jackson Davis, put his hands up, and then Corey Joseph eventually is also going to put his hands up. Palms to the sky, because nobody's understanding how do we get to the point where this is happening as regularly as it is. Actually, is it more telling that the, like, Kevon Looney, Wiggins, and Dario Sars didn't react at all? <laughs> that they're just, they're just so immune to the chaos that is Draymond Green, that this man punched Yusuf Nurkic in his temple, and they didn't respond at all. They're not even looking at the man. He's down. Like, bad. <laughs> They're not even reacting to it. Draymond Green talks to the refs like, hey, he was he was grabbing my jersey, whatever really he needs to say. Um, and eventually he gets ejected, obviously, because, I mean, the slow version of this, when they get real close up, is a, is a lot worse. Like, that's really bad. Um, this is one of the few cases where Draymond Green accepts his fate and without words or anything, he jogs right to the locker room. Um... So, so yeah, for what is worth, Draymond Green went to his post game interview and he said that uh, it was an accident. You be the determining factor whether or not you believe that or not. He said that uh, y'all know that it was an accident because I'm apologizing. Normally I don't. <laughs> what a strategy from Draymond Green. Normally I don't apologize, so that's how you know I'm meant to do what I do. What I did. I actually want to go back to look at every single Draymond Green's eject in his career because right now I think it's at 19. Go look at every single other post game interview from his ejections to figure out how many of them did he apologize for. When, when he kicked Steven Adams in, in the, the mid area, did he apologize? Because if he didn't, based on today's comments, that means that he did it on purpose. When he tackled Kevin Porter Jr., I don't even know if he got ejected for that. There's a whole highlight reel going around on Twitter of all of the crazy moments in Draymond's career. And some of them you completely forget about because it feels like the everyone he's trying to one-up himself. Last time he put Rudy Gobert in a real-life stranglehold for 12 seconds. And now he's clobbering people in the face. And, and again, I've been a guy that throughout the history of Draymond Green's shenanigans, I've always said that, obviously, not good for the league, ultimately. But for his team, those antics, not, not that they're okay, but because he was such a critical part of the success of the team that won as many championships as they did, that as the organization, of course, you don't want him to do that, but you're kind of accepting because you got jewelry on jewelry on jewelry on jewelry. When in 2023, this team is not competitive. This team is not competing for a championship, and it's hard to compete for a championship when one of your most impactful players is continually getting suspended and continually getting ejected from NBA games. He is actively hurting the last chances we might get of this core competing for a ring. And listen, there are a lot of things going on in the Golden State Warriors organization that Draymond Green is not the determining factor of why they don't look good right now. But boy, th this is the one thing that we can change. Klay Thompson struggling to shoot or Wiggins getting his powers taken away from the Monstars. Th that is something we can't really control at the moment. But what we can control is whether or not Draymond Green is punching people in the face. The last 18 months of Draymond Green's career as an NBA player has been nothing but turmoil and instances where you can't defend anymore. Warriors fans, the, the, the Warriors fans that have historically been super biased towards their players, I'm seeing them on Twitter like, man, y'all might be right. And if your own home fan base is starting to turn on your antics, then there's nobody else to defend you. If you're a Warriors fan, this is something you don't want to see. This is 30. And 30 did not have a good game last night. I don't want to act like he was out there being Superman again. But they were in the game nonetheless. Um, this is something you do not want to see. Steph Curry is a player that normally does not show a ton of frustration and emotion. He he just, just completely kicked that chair. <laughs> he just kicked the chair. And if 30 is frustrated with things then they should be frustrated too. I felt like going into the season, this was going to be the last hurrah for this core. Um, Clay Thompson wanted X amount of dollars. They were very hesitant to give him that amount of money. Draymond Green did sign his extension, but 
it, it felt like with Clay wanting so much money, or I, I mean, I can't say so much. I, I don't know what the conversation was like, but they did not agree to an extension, whatever, whatever. This felt like the last dance for this core, right? Um, it, they're making it. Clay Thompson's bad shooting and Draymond Green's antics are making it a lot easier for Mike Dunleavy Jr. to do some stuff that they've never done before. During the previous era, they were not a team that made a bunch of in-season trades, ever. They're like, we're going to route the guys we got. Maybe a small trade here, there, but our core is going to be our core. There is no active, we can't break this up thing. At one point, it was like, hey, when Dre, Steph, and Clay play together, they are undefeated. They cannot lose. And that was backed up by the championship a couple years ago. We're like, man, Clay Thompson, come back and immediately you get another championship? We're past those times now. So if Mike Dunleavy Jr. decided to do something, something crazy and make some big moves, I don't think Warriors fans will fault him because the current core is not looking the same way that they were used to. And well, with Draymond Green doing the stuff that he's doing, and knowing that the NBA is is a, a place that is more reactive than proactive, I think the five-game suspension that he got from, from Rudy Gobert is very generous. I'll say that. And now that something has happened a week and a half, well, I'm sorry, maybe two to three weeks since then, I wouldn't be surprised if the NBA gives him the book. I don't know what that looks like because the NBA is wildly inconsistent when it comes to suspensions. People get suspended for five games for this offense and 25 games for this. I don't really know. But I am I would not be surprised if we get a tweet from Wolves or Sham saying Draymond Green has been suspended for X amount of games. So now you're like, okay, the window that is already closing around us is closed even more because the guy that we've relied on to be, I, I don't know, the glue guy, the defensive anchor for this team is out of the lineup every six games because he can't stop punching people, including his teammates. It is crazy to, I guess, live in real time to see something that has been so consistently great and, and great. Um, fall fall down like some teams like the the Chicago Bulls the, the the Chicago Bulls dynasty they ended on great terms this the last dance we win in the championship and whatever happens after this is gonna happen and they they broke up at the end of the day a lot of people don't get that luxury it's the same thing with like NBA players right NBA players don't end their careers at a high note we usually see them decline for three to four years before they're out of the league and I'm, I'm looking at this core and saying, like, we're seeing the decline of this core. This is not a real last dance where we're competing for a championship on the last hurrah. This team does not have enough. They just don't. And, hell, I can, I can go on about the mishaps because th there was one year, the bridge the gap year, when, when we, we go into the, the, I guess, COVID year, you have two lottery picks, and I don't want to belabor the fact that you picked James Wiseman and Jonathan Kaminga with those picks, and Kaminga strung, strung together a couple of games. I wouldn't be surprised if Steve Kerr decides that he's a starter soon because, again, Draymond might get suspended or whatever. But that draft class was your bridging point. Well, we have an opportunity to get two lottery pick players that can help contribute to our aging core. And luckily enough, they got a championship post that, but now here we are a couple years from that championship and the people that you use those lottery picks on, one of them is out the dough and playing for a different team that is actively losing 20 games in a row. And the other one is here, but he's also not playing to the caliber of players of the, of the people drafting around him, you know? And I almost want to give them a little pass because most people missed in that draft class because it was such a weird time where you can't really have uh, in-person conversations or workouts. You know, I think a lot of people missed. That's why we have a lot of people that was in that draft class that went a lot later than they were supposed to based on their talent because everybody was kind of out there throwing darts because it wasn't a normal draft process. But this was a time, even if it was trading those picks away, which is, was on the table, they didn't make the right decisions. So now we're sitting at an age of Steph Curry who's still great. He's Steph Curry is still nearly in his prime. Like he's still one of the top whatever players in all the basketball. But he's an anomaly. The other agent players of your team, Klay Thompson's de decline right now is normal. I know we've become accustomed to the LeBron James, the Steph Currys, the, the, the Kevin Durant of the world. Well, hey, I'm in my mid-30s. I'm in my late 30s and I'm still great. Those people are the anomalies. Klay Thompson's decline right now is pretty normal for a player of his caliber and with his history of his injuries. Draymond Green declining on court production is pretty, pretty normal. It's pretty normal. And they didn't do enough to bridge the gap. And that's why they're in the position that they're in right now. And I'm just kind of tired of the Draymond Green stuff. At one point, the rah, 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 da, 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 all of that was cool. You know what I'm saying? I, again, I'm not saying that the, the kicking people in the nuts and stuff was cool, but like, the, 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 the chatting that Draymond Green brings, 
the 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 edge that he brings i f i feel as though that had been a very important part to what they were doing but now it's just overwhelming because the chatter doesn't matter anymore nobody is fearing the draymond green trash talk anymore so what do we have to do go above and beyond and that is hard to watch because again, Yusuf Nurkic is a is a warrior in its in itself that he could take a punch like that and be okay. But who knows how this can escalate to the point where may, maybe somebody doesn't come back immediately and play the rest of the game. Again, I, I think that the NBA has to think in these extreme cases because you never really you never really know. You never really know what's gonna happen next. And I know he he say apologized to Nurkic, whatever, whatever. The fact that it is almost always Draymond Green has to be like tiring for the people around him it just has to be the man 30 he's a guy that just never talks about things to the media about what's going on behind the scenes his leadership style and so on and so forth i i need him or uh steve kerr to just come out and and say i don't know i just say something say something do something i don't really know what that could be but I'm frustrated with it. And I'm not even a fan of the organization. Play Thompson getting benched in the last quarter of this game. Things are not what we're used to for the Golden State Warriors. And again, I don't know how they fix it. But they have to do something. Because how long do we get Steph Curry playing at this level? You have to capitalize on every single year. And that's one of the reasons why I, I admire LeBron James. Because he makes the front offices that he's working with uncomfortable. He actively makes them uncomfortable, and that makes them have to pull triggers to build the team around him. There's never been a LeBron season where he's been okay with the way it's been ran. He's always trying to push to get better pieces, push to do this, and sometimes it's to the detriment of his team. You trade Kyle Kuzma, KCP for Russell Westbrook, it set your organization back for a year and a half. But he kept the foot on the throats. Giannis, right now, or I guess last year and, and, and four years before that, Put the foot on the throats of his organization. I don't know what's going on. Boom, Drew Holiday trade. I don't know about the future. Boom, Damian Lillard trade. Steph Curry's got to put the foot on the necks of this organization. Say, hey, I'm 35 years old. And I just want to compete more. Simply put. And we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think about Draymond Green's suspension coming up or ejection or whatever. I'm frustrated. I'm just frustrated.